Hi guys, post bag time. This is quite a big bag this time. It's lightweight though, I know exactly what it is. Doesn't tell you, but I've only ordered one thing this size. A green screen. You may know I've been using a green screen occasionally and it works but not that well. So I had a look on eBay and they're not very expensive anyway. So I bought this one. Looks like I'm going to need to do something to it to flatten it out. In fact, what I'm planning to do is wrap it round the roller blind that I've got already so that I can use it with the roller blind. Because the roller blind's in a convenient position for me to do my filming. Right, this is not a fair comparison because at the moment there's sunlight streaming through behind my roller blind. So anything that I put in front of it <laughs> it's going to appear black. But this is the new one. So I'm going to tuck it up into the roller blind and see how it looks. Right, this is the existing roller blind. I've just pulled the end out so we can see how it's just staple to this bit of plastic and then this is the new green screen you see it's very similar material so we'll have a look it's got this dimpled effect to stop any um, shiny reflections and my original blind had a very similar effect but you can see this one's darker what I plan to do is have them both on there. So here we are, I've pulled the blind out of the roller. So we can see that plastic strip all the way along. And I'm just going to double up on that. I'm going to put the new blind, or new green screen, on here and staple it in place. There we are stapled all the way along and then we'll slide it back into the tube it's got to slide into that gap I actually need about three or four hands for this but you can see I'm making progress of it though. I think it was three meters long, I don't need that, so I can cut some off. Right, we've got lots left over. And still not going to be able to test it until the sun's gone down. But that certainly seemed to work. Got it part way up anyway. Obviously we've got to get the creases out of it as well. And I'll probably cut the spare off, I can use that 
in other places. And I've rolled it all the way up. I'm not sure whether I will cut that spare off the end of it. It might be convenient to have it draping right the way down onto the floor, depending on what I'm going to do with it. We will see.